Oh, gosh. Holy moly. Yeah. <sighs> it's like the third thing this morning. You're making me crazy. Did they do this today? Yeah, they're insane. Um, I knew these dogs were doing a damage, but this is a disaster. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is inexcusable behavior from Lexi and Emma, and we have to teach them boundaries before there is nothing left in the house to chew. That's dog behaviorist Cesar Milan in the new season of Better Human, Better Dog, premiering today on Nat Geo. Milan has spent 20 years rehabilitating dogs and training humans to have better relationships with their pets. Now he's teaching viewers how to choose the right dog for you and your family. Earlier, I sat down with the famous dog whisperer to hear all about it. Take a look. And Cesar, thanks so much for being here. I'm so excited to talk to you. So walk me through this season. What kind of issues are you going to be showing us? And what are people going to learn in terms of how to solve them? Well, the same issues, aggression, fear, anxiety, you know, your, your typicals. But what's different also about these episodes is that I'm a matchmaker. Right, so I, I get to bring three dogs in front of you and see which dog is compatible to you. So this is something I've never done on television, you know, which is uh, being a matchmaker and, and teach you how to prevent problems. You often say that even though you're training dogs, it's often the humans that benefit the most from what you do. Why is that, and how are you putting it that into play this season and teaching people how to adopt the right dog? Well, you know, I, I've been doing this for 20 years, and you know, so I never say I train dogs. I always say I train humans. I rehabilitate dogs. Mm. So what I'm rehabilitating is the aggression, the fear, and the uh, and the uh, avoidance that the, the dog develops with humans. And so I train the humans how to use the right energy, the right philosophy, the right actions. You know, so I, I, I say calm, confidence. That's leadership. Love Love, joy, that's love. Exercise, discipline, affection, not affection, 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 right? So I bring the formula, the rituals, and the symbols so we humans can practice what we're supposed to be doing in order for the dog to behave the way we want him to behave, right? So it is a formula to create balance and harmony. And now, as you say, you've been doing this for many, many years, and that's Sweet. invited some criticism over the years. Some okay. people have called your methods cruel, outdated, or dangerous. What's your response to that? Well, um, there is people that watch the show that don't have a dog, <laughs> right? And and they learn, they say, well, this is a, uh, talking about energy, talking about philosophy, talking about action, is actually, you can apply it to humans, right? So I raise my kids with the right energy, the right philosophy, the right actions. A lot of teachers call me and say, you know, I practice that with the kids to be the pack leader in front of a pack of kids because they need rules by the limitations. So what happens is they don't understand what I'm really teaching. I'm mm -hmm. teaching humans to be the right energy, to be the right philosophy, and to be the right actions. Our producer, uh, David, who's in the control room right now, he wanted to ask for your help because his dog, Minerva, barks constantly. He says she barks when she wants to go for a walk. She barks when she wants treats. She barks when she wants to play. And she barks any time a neighbor comes into their apartment building. And I know he's not alone with any of these issues. So what's your advice for David or other owners in a similar situation? Well, this is why it's so important that when you, it's three, three very important activities we have to master. When we meet a dog, when we walk a dog, when we feed a dog, right? <laughs> so when people meet a dog, this is what they do. This is how they meet a dog. So the first impression of a dog, oh my God, I love dogs. So when people meet a dog for the first time, and that's the impression. Every time I meet a human, I get excited. When a human invites a dog to go for a walk, you want to go for a walk? So they create this excitement. And then when the human feeds the dog, you want to eat? So the human represents excitement to the dog. So it's very important that we humans learn the power of noble silence, the power of calmness, before we give direction, which is the leadership part that everybody needs to also learn to play. Most people want to be the friend of the dog or the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the dog lover of the dog, but leadership is extremely important. It's just as important as love. What do you hope people take away from this new season? Uh, how simple a relationship a dog can be. You know, most people focus on money, fame, and power. I want the world to focus on natural, simple, profound. So you need somebody where you can see yourself in it. A dog is a reflection of you. So it's, it's very important that you understand how to nurture that part of you, your spirituality, your instincts, your heart, and your mind with or without money. So Better Human, Better Dog is about you human being your very best without thinking that you need money, fame, and power. So interesting. Cesar Milan, so great to have you on. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. And the new season of Cesar Milan, Better Human, Better Dog premieres today on Nat Geo.